Hello everyone. Before we move to the computer screen, I want to illustrate to you how we take pictures and back them up on three different hard drives. What you see on the left is a docking station. It can hold up to three naked hard drives. The first hard drive is going to be in the computer. The second hard drive is going to be in the docking station. The third hard drive will also be in the docking station. So we're using three hard drives. One, two, and three. You can also use three jump drives. The important part is to have three. One, two, three. These are the pictures we're copying. Copy the pictures to the first drive. Copy the pictures to the second drive. Note that those all those pictures are safe. Cut them to the third drive. Your camera card is ready to be used again and you have three saved copies. That was the process in a nutshell. Now I'll show you actual pictures being moved over. Oh, and by the way, my name is Casper, and I'm your storyteller. So now I'm going to open up the first hard drive and put the second one in the middle and the third one will stay on the left. We use this method with no Wi-Fi, which means we cannot upload it to a cloud. If you go camping like us, you could use this method. Now we'll bring the pictures from the camera and move them to the bottom of the screen. For the first example, we'll use this blue bullet picture. If you have the time, you can rename the picture to whatever you would like. Once you've renamed the picture, you're going to right click it and then select copy and then find the folder that you want to paste the picture in. And then you right click it and you press paste. And then you, for the second hard drive, you do the same thing. Paste. And then for the third hard drive, instead of copying the picture, you're going to cut it and then go back to the third hard drive, find your folder, and then press paste. Now these two photos, we're going to rename them. So we're going to highlight both of them and then click rename. And you can rename them once again to whatever you'd like.
once you've renamed them, right click, press copy, and we're going to paste ours into miscellaneous shots. Miscellaneous shots again. Now when we go back to the cameras folder, we're going to press the top of the folder because if you press where the white part is, then your pictures will become unhighlighted. And then we're going to go to the third hard drive, go to miscellaneous shots, and press paste. Now I'll show you how to create new folders and back them up. First, go to the folder where you want to create the new folder, then right click, and then press folder, and name the folder to whatever you would like. We back these photos up on older machines. This is an older Windows XP machine that has never been connected to the internet. That's why it's working so well. Once you've made the folder, copy the folder and go to the same place on the second hard drive and then paste the folder and do the same thing for the third hard drive. Once you've done that, go back to your folder where the camera's photos are and then select all the photos that you want to put into the folder. We're going to copy all these photos, and once you've selected them, paste them into the first hard drive's new folder. Once you paste them there, do the same thing for the second hard drive. Now once again, do not press the white part of the folder and then go back to the photos and press cut. Go to the third hard drive and paste. Once again, do not copy, you want to cut. Now open up another folder that you would like to back up. Take a look at the photos if you'd like. Now go to your first hard drive. Find the folder that you would like to put the folder in. Do the same thing on the second hard drive. And do it once again on the third hard drive. We're going to be using the customer's kids folder. Now copy the folder you want to back up and then paste it into the folder that you want to have it in. Do the same thing for the second hard drive. Paste. And 
then for the third hard drive, cut the folder and then paste into the folder. Now I'll be backing up videos, so go to where the videos are stored. and go through any videos you would like to look at. And if you want to rename the video, then rename it to whatever you would like. Looks like Hank won't be making it to the Olympics anytime soon. Now go to the first hard drive. and make a new folder and name it to whatever you would like to name it and copy the folder go to the second hard drive paste the folder and go to the third hard drive and once again paste the folder As you see, the folders are empty, so copy both of those videos and paste them into the first hard drive. Once again, paste them into the second hard drive. And finally, cut them and then paste them into the third hard drive. Here's another example. We're going to use Hank writing an e-bullet. Once you've watched the video, you right click and then rename it to whatever you would like. Once you've renamed it, Go to the location in the first hard drive that you would like to save it in. Do that same thing for the second hard drive. And finally do it again for the third hard drive. Go back to the video, copy it, 
and we're going to paste it into miscellaneous shots once again. Miscellaneous shots again. And go back to the video, right click and cut. And then paste miscellaneous shots. Once you are finished, you're going to want to close out all three of your windows. And go to the bottom right of your screen. And then right click the little USB logo. And press eject. Thank you. It was great having you watching.